Making medicine from a patient's own cells sounds quite interesting. In this video, we will apprise you that this methodology has been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration to treat several cancer types and is being used for the treatment of multiple sclerosis, a disease in which the immune system mistakenly damages the protective covering of nerves, causing problems with communication between the brain and the body, leading to various disabilities. An article published in the world top-ranked journal Nature on the 22nd of February 2024 states, CAR T therapy for multiple sclerosis enters U.S. trials for first time. Hopes are high that engineered immune cells, which are already in use to treat blood cancer, will halt the progression of a degenerative autoimmune disorder. Getting eager to know what CAR T is. The CAR stands for chimeric antigen receptor, and T cells are white blood cells. The cells with CAR on their surface are known as CAR T cells and are used to fight several types of cancer, and now multiple sclerosis. In this treatment, living cells from human own or other personal T cells are modified in the laboratory and injected back into humans. The CAR component helps kill cancer cells or cells, causing multiple sclerosis. This is the simplistic definition of CAR-T therapy. You may like to know more about CAR that makes T cells as a treatment. Each CAR, chimeric antigen receptor, is like a bridge on a cell. It is a part outside the cell and a part inside. The outside part is made of bits of lab-created antibodies, and this part decides how well the receptor sticks to the antigen on tumor cells. Inside the cell, the CAR has signaling and co-stimulatory parts. When the receptor connects with an antigen, these parts send signals into the cell. The choice of these parts can impact how well the cells work overall in destroying cancer cells. To use CAR-T as a medicine for cancer or multiple sclerosis patients, in the first step, blood is collected from the patient to isolate T-cells. In the second step of CAR-T therapy, T-cells are extracted from the patient's blood using leukapheresis. In the third step, isolated T-cells are sent to the laboratory and modified by introducing the gene for the specific chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, transforming them into CAR-T cells. In the fourth step, CAR-T cells undergo cultivation and multiplication in the lab, a process that may span several weeks to generate the required quantity for the therapy. The fifth and last step is infusing these CAR-T cells into patients that act like a living medicine to overcome cancer and now multiple sclerosis. This follows with the patient's recovery. Please watch this demonstration showing how CAR-T cells are destroying cancer cells. This happens through the recognition of cancer cells by the CAR on the T cells, followed by their removal. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate you for your comments and request for subscribing to Biomed Global.